Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah Eşhedü en la ilahe أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له نشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده وحبيبه ورسوله السابق إلى الأنام نوره ورحمة للعالمين ظهوره صلى الله تعالى وعلى آله وأصحابه وأولاده وأتباعه أجمعين أما بعد فيا عباد الله أوصيكم ونفسي العاصية بتقوى الله وطاعته قال الله تعالى في محكم كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذا قيل لهم لا تفسدوا في الأرض قالوا إنما نحن مصلحون ألا إنهم هم المفسدون ولكن لا يشعرون All praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We thank him, we seek his help and forgiveness. We also seek the refuge in him against the evils of our deeds. Whoever Allah guides, nobody can mislead him. And whoever he leaves and go astray will not find guidance. I testify that there is no deity worthy of worship but Allah. And Muhammad is his servant and his last messenger. May he bestow peace and blessings upon this noble Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and his followers. My respected brothers, sisters, and beloved children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbids oppression for himself as well as 
all of humanity. Oppression or zulm can come in many forms. It could be the oppression of our own selves, or it can be the oppression of a people on another people. It can be an oppression against a minority group, stripping them of their basic rights and freedom. As Muslims, we are obliged to stand in solidarity with any group who are oppressed, whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims. We are expected to spend in charity to the oppressed and the needy and work towards ending all injustices and inequality. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, I have just recited, the verse I have just recited, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُصْلِحُونَ أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ الْمُفْسِدُونَ وَلَكِنْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ In Surah Baqarah, verse 12, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, teaches us. And when it is said to them, do not spread corruption in the earth, they say, we are only reformers. Behold, they are the real corruptors, but they do not realize it. The Quran and our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teach us about how we should care for and help all those who are oppressed and all our brothers and sisters in humanity who are in need. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه None of you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. Islam has existed in China, my respected brothers and sisters, from the time of the Sahaba. And various ethnic groups have been practicing Islam for centuries. There are over 20 million Muslims in China belonging to 10 distinct ethnicities and make up 16% of the entire population. The Hui are the largest ethnic Muslim group, while the Uyghurs are the second largest. While the Hui Muslims are ethnically closer to the Han Chinese, the Uyghurs are ethnically Turkic, speak a Turkic language, and are mostly Sunni Muslims. While Uyghurs exist across national boundaries in the region, the Hui Muslims live many in China, mainly in China. Unfortunately, our Uyghur brothers and sisters have been affected by the injustices and oppression caused by the recent policies and regulations of local and central Chinese government powers. One of the more alarming developments regarding, regarding the rights of Uyghurs living in Xinjiang since 2013 has been the use of home occupiers to monitor and report on Uyghur families. More than a million Chinese civilians, mostly members of the Han ethnic majority, have been mobilized to aid the military and police in their campaign of re-education by occupying the homes of the Uyghurs. In a November 2018 Global Times article, Chinese state authorities stated that 1.1 million civil servants had been assigned to more than 1.69 million ethnic minority citizens. These civil servants coming from the hegemonic Han ethnic group were sent to live with Uyghur families without choice and present themselves as relatives. Their chief goal was to watch the villagers and take notes assessing the Uyghurs level of loyalty to their country, noting how well they spoke Chinese, and staying alert for signs that their attachment to Islam might be extreme. If an Uyghur host owns a copy of Quran at home, prays on a Friday, fast during the month of Ramadan, and doesn't eat pork or drink wine, or simply greets a neighbor in Arabic with the words of Assalamu Alaikum means peace be upon you, all of these could be used as an evidence of an extreme attachment to Islam. Based on such evidence, the so-called Han relatives would then recommend that their hosts should be sent away to the so-called re-education centers. These re-education schools are like rehabilitation centers for drug users. In this case, it is both the vigorous cultural and religious identity and practices that is the disease that has to be cured. So Uyghurs who are deemed to be adhering to even the remotest Islamic belief or 
practice are regarded as in need of rehabilitation in order to cure their Islam and vigor identity and assimilate into the Han culture. In 2018, the United Nations Committee on the Elimination of the Racial Discrimination had cited estimates that from tens of thousands to upwards, upwards of a million Uyghurs may be detained in internment camps in the Xinjiang province. Unfortunately, this has since been realized and around 2 million Uyghurs has since been detained in these internment camps. My respected brothers and sisters, these accusations has been confirmed by a number of the credible human rights organizations and a few academic research reports. Thomas Cliff, a research fellow at the Australian National University College of Asia and the Pacific describes what is going on in Xinjiang province of China as a form of genocide. Although it is not killing everybody, the objective seems to be to wipe out all traces of what's distinct about being a vigor. Oppression won't stop at just vigor Muslims. The Hui Muslims of China as well are ethnically Chinese in their language and appearance, but now even they are reporting harassment and persecution by the Chinese government. Even reports of Christians being harassed are now surfacing. Over 2 million Uyghur Muslims, mostly men, have been forced into concentration camps, which is the Chinese first denied existed, by, but now they admit calling them re-education camps. They are tortured, brainwashed, and told to give up their faith. Almost 500,000 children are sent to Chinese-run orphanages while their parents are still alive and told to give up Islam in favor of communism. Women are forced to let men from the Chinese Communist Party live in their homes. China admits sending one million Chinese as guests. About 5,000 messes are being demolished. Uyghur women are even being forced into marrying non-Muslim men. Constant checkpoints, spyware applications, and other devices are used by the government to take away the rights and freedoms of vigor Muslims. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man ra'a minkum munkaran fal yugayirhu biyadi. Fa in lam yastati' fa bilisani. Fa in lam yastati' fa bi qalbi. Wa thalika ad'afu al-iman. Whosoever of you sees an evil action, let him change it with his hand. If he is not able to do so, then with his tongue. And if he is not able to do so, then with his heart. And that is the weakest of faith. Dear brothers and sisters, we must do something immediately to advocate the innocent and to be against brutality and oppression. As the Muslim community, along with imams, scholars and community leaders, we must take action and write to our local MPs and government officials the following points. These are, I can suggest you, what we can do to support them to voice this brutality. We ask government and MPs to pressurize the People's Republic of China to free vigors from its concentration camps, return children to their families, and restore their freedom of faith. We call upon our neighbors of other faiths to support this demand. And we also call upon fellow citizens to stop buying products produced through slave labor from these camps. We call upon also all people to stand in solidarity with the people of Vega. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stop this brutality and ease the burden on the shoulder of our brothers and sisters from the Vega community. Ameen. Ala inna ahsan al kalam wa ablag al nizam. كلام الله الملك العزيز العلام كما قال الله تعالى وتبارك في الكلام وإذا قرئ القرآن فاستمعوا له وأنصتوا لعلكم ترحمون وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم التائب من الذنب كمن لا ذنب له واستغفروه إنه وفور رحيم استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات على حياء منهم ولمات إنك قريب مجيب الدعوات برحمتك يا رحمة الرحيم My dear brothers and sisters, in this part of my talk, inshallah, I will be talking about 
how badly our brothers and sisters suffering from the brutality and oppression, transgression, injustices, and also how the peace and tranquility and the harmony has been destroyed by the regulations of the government of China. China claims its facilities, re-education camps. Anyone who has come out of them confirms they are worse than prisons. With over 60 people in a small containment rooms, there isn't even enough room for everyone to sleep. People take turns standing so the others can sleep for a couple of hours. With so many people stuck together in the same room without a toilet, they have to use a bucket for need of toilet. Almost all of the survivors of the camps reported beating as a punishment for the most trivial, trivial of offenses. Even women have scars and marks of beating all over their bodies. Medicines are forcibly administered to women to stop their periods. In some women, they cause bleeding from the uterus. Survivors report being given injection, injections and medications without being informed of the contents. Blood is also drawn without permission. Several women survivors report being gang raped by guard at the facilities. Some even during their teenage years. A mother reported that she was made to see her missing child from a distance, briefly before both of them were dragged away by their hairs. Vigors detained in the camps are subjected to physical torture. Some report being tied to a hard chair all day along, while others report other forms of torture. For many Vigors, their re-education ends in a slow, painful death behind the walls of a secret facilities. Most facilities are located in the places like the middle of the desert or in a remote parts of the country that are essentially cut off from the civilization. Tall, fort-like walls covered with razor wire fences surround what China claims are re-education camps. The facilities are surrounded by several watch watchtowers and armed guards secure not just the insides of the facility, but a wide area around it. Visits are not allowed, and any reporters or unauthorized personnel even approaching the direction of the camps are followed and escorted away. There is a heavy surveillance and, uh, in and around the facilities, similar to, possibly even greater than, what is seen in prisons. There has been proof of cremation facilities near to the camps, which indicates an ability to quickly burn the bodies of the victims. Since the world has started paying attention to China's camps, it has started organizing staged visits for key officials to appease to them by altering reality. State television airs propaganda reaffirming the Chinese narrative that those attending the camps are not only willfully there, but are enjoying themselves. We ask the People's Republic of China to free vigors from its concentration camps, return children to their families, and restore their freedom of faith. In ending my khutbah, I thank all government, governments, as well as British government, that raised the issue of human rights abuses and detained, detainment in the concentration camps and ask the rest of the world to do the same. We call upon all people to stand in solidarity with the people of Vigor. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease the suffering of the oppressed and end all oppressions in the world. Ameen. Alhamdulillahi hamd al-kamileen. والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين تعظيما لنبيه وتكريما لصفيه فقال عز وجل من قائل مخبرا وآمرا 
innallaha ve melaiketehu yusallun alen nebi ya eyyühellezine amenu sallu aleyhi ve sellimu teslima Allahumme salli ala seyyidina Muhammedin ve ala ali seyyidina Muhammed kema sallayta ala seyyidina İbrahim ve ala ali seyyidina İbrahim inneke hamidun mecid Allahumme barik ala seyyidina Muhammedin ve ala ali seyyidina Muhammed kema barakta ala seyyidina İbrahim ve ala ali seyyidina İbrahim inneke hamidun mecid Allahumme arda anil arbaatil hulefe seyyidina Ebi Bekrin ve Umar ve Uthman ve Ali'in ve bisidqi ve vefa ve baqiyyatil aşarati el mubeşşarati ve ali beytin Mustafa وعن الأنصار والمهاجرين والتابعين إلى يوم الجزاء اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك قريب مجيب الدعوات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين آمين والحمد لله رب العالمين إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون أقم الصلاة إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولذكر الله أكبر والله